It's a region with a rare abundance of talented rugby first fives, but the Crusaders' depth is being tested with news of Colin Slade's exit to France at the end of this year. Whether it'll have an effect on the All Blacks remains to be seen, but the news is causing concern for the Red and Blacks. George Berry has the details. Todd Black had his face said it all. That fatherly look, one that suggests he's not angry, but disappointed. Yeah, I don't like it because, you know, we'd like to keep Slade here. But... 17 test All Black Colin Slade today confirming this year will be his last at the Crusaders after signing a two-year deal with an excess of $700,000 a season with French club poor. Obviously the money was, was the thing that initially caught my attention. You weigh out whether the opportunities are going to come up again in the future and ultimately I wasn't prepared to take that risk. He'll link up with fellow All Black Conrad Smith and Kiwi coach Simon Mannix. A couple of messages went last night. He's uh, about sipping a few red wines in the south of France. While Slade's departure might not be the worst thing All Blacks fans have ever heard, It'll certainly leave a big hole at the Crusaders. Yeah, this time last year we had four tens and the lowest can look like we don't have any for next year and we haven't yet. Up now to Slade. It's also now up to Slade to prove he's good enough for a black jersey with his departure firmly in Steve Hansen's mind. It was nice to hear that you know, I wasn't, didn't have the name scratched off the list I suppose immediately so look that's up to me now I suppose to, to go out there and, and perform well enough to, to warrant selection and um, it's good that the doors won't close. The pressure now also shifts to Bowden Barrett to follow Aaron Cruden's move and turn down advances from Sir Gordon Titchens and a spot in the Rio Olympic 7 side. George Berry, One News.